Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of Acquired Tastes. I'm here on the couch, you know, about and since you're staring at my face, there's no time to waste. Today we're going to watch <laughs> Cold Kunz, Choi Jung Hoon, and Simon Dominic for The Gone. Joe Sung Woo, born December 18th, 1989, literally a day after my older brother, that's so weird, better known by his stage name Cold Kunz, is a South Korean composer and music producer under AOMG. On November 16th of 2020, he had his first collaboration with L Korea, titled For The Gone. The song features two artists, Jung Ki Suk, born March 9th, 1984, better known by his stage name as Simon Dominic, a South Korean hip hop recording artist under AOMG, and Choi Jung Hoon, born March 10th, 92, a South Korean singer under Peponi Music, and is a member of the rock band Janabi. This is Code Kunst, Choi Jung Hoon, Simon Dominic for The Gone. I keep forgetting how pretty Simon Dominic is. I keep forgetting he looks like a child in the face, but he's. Seven seven. Right. And his voice is deep <laughs> He's as He's grown as fuck, deep ass voice. Forget every time. <laughs> mm. It sounds traditional as fuck. It sounds like a traditional song that they put onto hip hop. This is what I thought was about to happen with the last cut. So they answered my question already. That's 
that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. So the entire time for me, I was visualizing him, right, him going through the process of making this song, like walking down the street and looking at something and writing down a lyric, being in his room and like the camera's revolving, he's writing down lyrics, being in the toilet, writing down lyrics. But by the end of it, as he's like getting to like the, 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 the talking phase, he's talking to like his mom, he's talking to his friends, he's got a mic in his hand, he's talking to people. But by the end of it, it's him in this big stadium singing the song. Mm -hmm. And so it's basically where it ended with the, this part, it would be him like, the stadium, like as he gets to the height of the, of the end, the stadium lights start to fall, everything starts to like come down back into like him being in a very intimate moment, sitting on the stage with his book and with the mic and just like no one's there, but he's just singing. Da -da -da. Like literally this is my whole, my whole rendition of the video. So mm -hmm. to see, to hear it end in that way was like, oh shit. I like the song. Honestly, I really don't have much to say about it um, other than um, very positive song, very sultry vibes. I was expecting some hard hitting with Sammy Dominic on the track. I thought he better come to it. Right, and when so he came out, I was like, that's Dominic. <laughs> I just knew he was about to be up there. I thought it was going to be like a Drake down. I thought he was about to jump on the track, y'all. But the fact that they kept it really cool is actually really awesome. And his first collaboration with El Korea, this this sounds like a really a really nice idea to put on for your first collaboration for a major brand. So that's 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 a managing side of things from the artistic side of things I enjoyed this song it was tight oh, yeah. it doesn't really leave you wanting more it doesn't even leave you asking questions it's a good vibe through and through mm -hmm. um, it was kind of a transcendent song for me like well I felt like I was getting stuck in the song like I was living out my life in the song or something it felt like a song that would play during a montage where you would see like a bunch of like somebody going through their day or somebody like going through the month and like what their, their journey is and then like what the result of all that work that they did in a month like what it came to so yes i agree and like i saw my own version of it um hey we should do like, videos that's so crazy. yeah wow, wow. <laughs> uh, go figure like yeah and i felt like i was a part of it though which was so cool like i kept getting lost in the song and that's why it felt kind of like a trans type of song it was very beautiful. It was very unexpected. I really didn't know what kind of song I was going to get. Um, and to have kind of like the traditional sound, like it was confusing because it was like, this sounds like something that you would probably hear at like an event for the culture. Yeah. But then also it's like, there's a little bit of a hip hop twist to it. So yeah. it's a little confusing to me. Um, I, feel, I thought it was going to be like a Guangzhou. Like that. Right. Like, like, <laughs> I was like, yo, hold up. There's a whole, there's a whole, yeah. It, it was, it was really cool to see how they were able, well, not to see how they were able to put that together, but to hear the result of putting that together putting those creative motives and stuff like that that was really cool all right so we're gonna get on to video number two of the day we're gonna watch brooklyn imagine brooklyn is a korean thai korean ethnically thai nationality i appreciate awesome. yeah that. that's thank beautiful you. thank you brooklyn is a korean thai uh, soloist who debuted under macefield entertainment on august 9th of 2019 with his first single on November 27, 2020, he released his second single, Imagine. This is Brooklyn, Korean Thai. I'm still gonna laugh. The, te <laughs> the, the, the Tears of Lynn. I like this mask, or whatever it is, statue. He was getting sacrificed. <laughs> what was that? more independent. I actually like that move. Not questions.
Let's see what's happening. Okay, first question is, why the pentagram in the eye? I'm gonna start there, the first question's for me. Um, second, just some things I noticed. One, it wasn't until this video that I understood the very important importance of being a dancer as a yes. main, <laughs> of that being was a my dancer issue. as a main, as the main person in the video. My mans, it's like, when I see him in the middle, my my brain wants to see like oh, big energy yeah. but my energy is feeling like huh. um ultimately i do like what they were going for i feel like with a little more practice with um and not just in dance but like in his stage presence he really could give an energy because the confidence was there so mm -hmm. um i said just to bring it back to the beginning one um it's important that if you're going to be a lead on a dance music video if you're not a dancer, really practice your emotions. Really practice what it means to be that character. Because for this one, I had to, I was like, because I know better, I can accept it. But if I didn't, I'd be like, why? It seems like there's definitely some work to be done. But, and it, it, there's definitely work to be done, and it's an uphill battle, but the hill is not as steep as it seems, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. The hill is, the, the hill's got a little curve to it. There's a learning curve. You gotta get in there and work a little harder, but if you continue on this track of giving the energy you've given now and making it better, I feel like there's no way you could lose. Because right now you're at, if this is your base, you have nothing but room to improve. You know what I'm saying? You're already, you're, you're, you're already in a space where your peers, K, K artists, are gonna hold it down. So you gotta step up, so. Yeah, um, and I, have we ever heard of Macefield Entertainment before today? I don't think so. Cool, so Macefield Entertainment um, sounds like, nah, I'm not gonna say the reason you're being held back, but just what we know from Jesse in our past, just what we know from other artists, it seems like your management team, your entertainment team, they have to do a little bit better work at putting some things together, but your theme was there, the fact that you had choreo was there. The fact that you even had, I like that white outfits. The fact that you had white outfits was there. Even that one dance move that was like a fake moonwalk. You're, it's all there, but I need y'all to sell it to me now. Yeah, the video would have been great. I see him more as um, a model type performer. Yep. Like he could have let everybody else dance and been like, just m slow motions or just like, enjoying his beauty or whatever like you could have done that and it would have been a better video um just because you that's using your qualities or your skills to your advantage dance is not a skill you have so that kind of disadvantaged you um but also from what i could see watching it um you definitely have confidence in who you are as an artist mm. that's there i think you are unsure of your dancing because there were moments where you kept looking around while you were dancing and if you're trying to get people to understand your message you're going to look them in the eye or you're going to look where you need to look and because your eyes were wandering i already could tell you weren't really sure of your dancing you need to look there just needs to be a bit more inner work and um understanding of you in order for you to improve as an artist because i see it could happen i mean you did the five six seven eight one two three four yeah you could be a great cheerleader like mm. but 
it needs to not feel like it's five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. It needs to feel like it's you dancing and not the choreography dancing you. Like hmm. it, it, it really, yeah, it just, and, and it made me think that this might've been like a group, like him being like, hey guys, I wanna be a K-pop person, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Um, friends, can you help me? Like the quality of the video was good, but because it didn't feel like he brought his A game, it felt like this was like a project for like him and his friends. Mm. But I, I appreciate this video though and I appreciate all the hard work that you put in, that your team put in and all of that good stuff. Like I do appreciate it. I appreciate the whole team involved, but you get, you, there's a lot of competition. There we go. Shout out to Brooklyn and Brooklyn's team. Let us know if you need anything from the aquarium, we got you. Uh, this has been Code Cunts, Choi Jung Hoon, and Simon Dominic for The Gone, and Brooklyn Imagine. Um, two videos with energy that I didn't expect. Boom. Unexpected energy. Appreciate you guys for coming through today for Acquired Taste. Don't forget to do the very important task of following us on our YouTube and subscribing. Following us on our Patreon and subscribing. We got some new content now. You already know what it is. Last but not least, our Instagram and our Twitch. Instagram, stay up to date. Twitch, come to the live streams. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.